Hey guys, this is Chris from Empire Bricks and welcome to a very exciting LEGO Star Wars pre-review. News has just reached me that in 2019 we will get a Vader's Castle LEGO set. And as you can see, um, it's going to be a pretty big set. Um, as far as the um, information that I've got, it's a set that has uh, over 1,000 pieces and will sell for $130. There are some preliminary images available, so let's have a closer look at what we'll be getting. Um, I don't have a set number yet, but if I do, I'll edit it into the title and um, description. But for now, let's have a look. We're going to uh, check this out first uh, as a whole. You can see it's the um, the castle that we have seen in Rogue One, I guess. Um, uh, it's the castle on Mustafar. Uh, it has a large uh, spire with several rooms. Um, I can't really see a good... A view of the front yet but um, uh, the back is kind of promising lots of rooms and I'm just guessing the front is um, as we've seen in the movie with the um, kind of columns and the lava flowing through but you know that's just a guess for now um, moving on uh, to more detailed uh, stuff we can see uh, lots of figures and um, a, a Thai advanced ship um, to have a closer look, let's zoom in. Starting from the top, uh, we can see that there is some kind of uh, battle position uh, with a um, stud shooter as a gun. And we can see a, a new kind of trooper. Um, it has the helmet mold of the um, shore trooper and uh, tank pilot, uh, but different colors, more um, almost clone trooper-ish. Uh, very excited to see a new kind of trooper and looking forward to have more details about him. Nothing too much going on in the top. It's very open. Um, so that's uh, something that we um, will be seeing. I would have liked it you know, to be more closed up, I guess. But um, you know, there's not so much you can do with um, a small space like this. So I guess that's okay. Moving one uh, floor down, we get to a very, very exciting room. Because this is the room where we have kind of the capsule um, that Darth Vader is in in uh, several movies, I think. Um, where uh, his helmet is taken off and on and he kind of meditates. Um, now we can see that um, this kind of construction um, is made to hold what looks like a figure, but it's very hard to see if this is just a suit um, or a whole figure. Um, uh, but I'm thinking this is a whole figure of Darth Vader sitting in the capsule. And of course, we can see a hologram um, of um, Emperor Palpatine in front of him. Now, if we have a look at the back of this room, we can actually see um, some kind of red transparent bricks, um, which is why I think there is going to be lava on the other side um, of the build, which is a very exciting look, I think, um, making this whole structure look like a great build. Moving one floor down again, um, we get the back to tank um, from Rogue One um, and some extra figures. Now, I think this is actually a different figure than the one that we have seen um, in the floor above, which is a complete Darth Vader. Here we can see a heavily scarred and battle damaged Darth Vader in a back to tank um, with kind of a breathing apparatus um, on his mouth. So a very cool new and probably exclusive figure for some time. Um, and um, more uh, red transparent bricks in the back. Not to mention that we get two uh, royal guards or imperial guards um, on this floor, uh, probably identical. I'm not sure if they are exclusive. I think they are just uh, remakes of versions that we have seen before. Uh, some sticker detailing, uh, but nothing too bad. Um, although I'll have to say that you know, for the space that we have in this uh, room, I would have liked to see some more... Um, kind of machinery on the sides, although it's hard to see the uh, left side of the build. But um, it feels kind of empty, but still a very cool room. And the uh, red transparent bricks with the lava are very dramatic in the back. Now, when we get to the bottom floor, um, this is actually a different picture than the ones that I uh, used for the other floors. Uh, because it has more detail and is a bit sharper. But we can see the TIE Advance, which uh, actually fits a minifigure, even though it's very, very small. Uh, you can see it exactly fits Darth Vader inside. Uh, kind of smart building. Uh, looks very cool, and it's about the same skill as the um, Slave 1 that we have seen in the Master Builder uh, Betrayal at Bespin set, I think. Um, so it's a kind of new skill of... 
um, uh, vehicle that we are getting here. Uh, also, we can see more of the new kind of trooper that we're getting, more detail on the print. It uh, looks a bit battle damaged as well. Um, like I said, has um, a lot of looks and colors that make me think um, of clone troopers, but this is actually an Imperial trooper. And we see one of the uh, Royal Guards here. Um, underneath in the build, we can see there's kind of a hanger with more sticker detailing um, stuff that looks like uh, lights. I think the stickers are very neat here. Um, although I have to say that, you know, empty space using it as a hanger is maybe a little bit easy uh, for Lego, but still, um, I think it looks great and it's a nice place to hold um, uh, the tie advanced. There's a stairway upstairs to the next floor, so you know it's it's really uh, a playset. So we're back at the uh, total overview. Um, four floors, uh, some are more detailed than the others. Uh, definitely a playset, but if we would turn it around, it would probably be a very very neat uh, this playset uh, and some. Um, Pretty unique figures, I have to say. But if we count, we have one Darth Vader, one Trooper, uh, one Battle Damage Darth Vader, and two Royal Guards, making that five figures in total. Now we can see somewhat of a mouse droid or something like that, um, and there's the hologram. But for a price of $130, I have to say that five minifigures is very much on the low end. Um, this is priced um, a little bit like uh, you know older Star Destroyers, which tend to have a lot of figures, um, six or seven figures would, would have been more appropriate, um, especially especially since if we all remember the scene from Rogue One, where the kind of the servant, I'm not sure what his name is, uh, comes to tell uh, Darth Vader that Director Krennic has arrived. Now, I would have expected at least um, Director Krennic um, in this set, um, maybe even the room, that would, you know, kind of make it possible to um, envision that iconic, iconic scene. Uh, but also the servant, which, you know, if you would add those two figures and um, use uh, maybe the bottom space for uh, the room of that scene instead of a hanger, I think that would have been almost a perfect set. Um, so pretty much a missed opportunity. So my judgment in this pre-review, um, like I said, we haven't seen more details than this uh, for now. We don't even have a set number as uh, of this moment. I am very excited about this set. It's something new, something we haven't seen before, um, and that's really good. Uh, Lego has been doing a lot of remakes, and um, you know, uh, at some point that just gets boring. The next Anakin's um, uh, Starfighter, another Sandcrawler. This is something brand spanking new. We haven't seen anything like this, so that's a big, big plus. It has some exclusive figures. Uh, at least the trooper and the battle damaged Vader, uh, but for one hundred and thirty dollars, I'm at least missing two minifigures, and I am totally missing um, the director Krennic and Darth Vader meeting, you know, the 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 chamber where they met. So um, it's a it's a good set. Uh, it's new. It's it's good, um, but it could have been perfect, um, and I think that is a missed opportunity from Lego. I am really looking forward to what you guys think of the set. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, and I really hope you enjoyed this pre-review. Now, if you did like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all next time.